M0FXB, Bofunk DM32 VHF UHF. Let's get it out the box. It's a big, it's a big radio packed with features, drop in charger, and a couple of antennas. So when I first got this device, I thought, whoa, it's it's so big. Yeah. But now that I've turned it on and looked at it and gone through the features properly, this thing is actually pretty awesome. Yes, it is big. big. It's a 200, 2,200 milliamp hour battery USB charging built into the battery. But this version is, is the DMR and VHF, UHF, APRS, GPS version. You can get the sort of non-DP... Uh, DMR version. I think that's only about £40. This was 85 delivered. I thought, oh, if I'm going to get one, I'll get the DMR one. There's a screw at the bottom there that um, keeps that on. I just took it off so I could show you. But you can customise every single colour on this, uh, which I think is really cool. Now, the functionality of it, I'm comparing it to my RT4D. So it's VHF, UHF. It says 220 megs. Whether it transmits is a, is another matter. Of course, you're going to get your local repeaters, no problem at all. DMR, I can see it's going to work fine on DMR, but I'm so surprised it's also got GPS, APRS, full customization of the color. It's a two inch screen. The battery is going to last for a long time. And it does say true 10 watts. I will do a dedicated video testing the power. It even says air band. Let's get an antenna. It came with two antennas. So there's the big chunky one. And it's come with this flexi one, which I believe also comes with the VHF, UHF analog model. And then you've got USB cable, normal phone charger. And, and it has got a drop-in charger, which I, I like. I always like drop-in chargers because, you know, you want to put it somewhere, don't you? Even though the base is, if you look at the base, it, it sits proudly. And, and an actual, quite a decent programming uh, manual here with lots and lots of information and normally with those type if you dig around you're going to find what you what you need but you know it takes a bit of patience just digging around so I do like the uh, the sort of chunky antenna that's come with it and yeah looking forward to going out in the garden actually and doing some air band on this so I'm going to dedicate the whole day on this today I'm actually quite surprised I'm actually quite blown away by how much I like it because I thought you know a bit big you know when you look at them they're bringing out this new TK11 uh, it's it's going to look like this, but without the additional bit on the on the bottom of the of the battery there. I think it's given it a real I don't know chunky retro, but you know real radio sort of feel to it. So I'm actually really very very pleased with what I'm seeing, and I've just customised some of the colours. Oh, good afternoon, G zero. I'm the speakers at the back just here. Which, mm, I'm fifty fifty whether I like that. You can sort of tell it's coming out from the, the back. SWR Watch. If I move my hand. But, you know, in a car, in this room, it, it sounds fine. And so I, am, I, you know, I just can't wait to test it with my DMR. There's not even an antenna in there at the moment. And, the, and that is because with my node, my all-star node, it doesn't even... It's so near me, it doesn't matter. But if we go to the B band... And then you hold down the green button, and I'm going to type in my hotspot, 431-550. Um, and you can customise every single colour on this. Now, it looks like it's picking it up. I have set it on dual watch, but we do need to be in, in um, digital mode, which it is saying there. It will only hear one at a time. So let's just go to the B. No, we are on the B. So we're on the B. I haven't put in any parameters at all for DMR. I'm just curious if it picked anything up. You can see it's it's trying. Let's just get stay on the A a minute and say M0FXB calling for a test. That's analog, by the way. Let's see if anyone comes back to me. It's the first contact. M0FXB, G6FDP. Afternoon, Andreas. Just the man I've been looking for. Oh, no. <laughs> G6ZDP. Be careful, I'm just recording a video on a Bofung DM32. Giant beast of a DMR, VHF, UHF, APRS radio. Uh, and you're in it. G6ZDP. Oh, I'm famous again, Andreas. I've been 
on a few of your videos. But, uh, yeah, I'll uh, have to have a look at that. Yeah, I will say your audio is a little bit quiet, but other than that, um, a nice um, sound. That's because I'm stood away from it. I could add my speaker, twin pin cable there. On this radioless node, I've just finished building. You can see we've got analog, DMR. We need to set that up. But yeah, it sounds good. Nice keypad. Every button is programmable. Every single button is programmable. I think I'll come back. We've got our DMR hotspot. We're going to come back and start going through all the settings, set up air band, marine band, DMR, everything. And the link for, to purchase is in the description. Bye for now.